Hello everyone. Uh, today I'll be talking about the unreliability of uh, chain of thought reasoning in large language and vision language models. So we have spent the entire last decade exploring the complex landscape of explainable AI. And in that process, we have developed several post hoc explanation methods. We have come up with theoretical limits and evaluation benchmarks to understand the limit of how and how, when and how much should we trust these explanation methods. However, the rise of generative models have completely changed that paradigm. We now have models with billions of parameters and the existing post hoc, post -hoc explanation methods don't scale. And hence we rely on their self-explanation capabilities to understand their decision-making process. Uh, I don't think I need to introduce the concept of chain of thought to this crowd, but on a very high level, chain of thought essentially gives us a sequence of logical steps that helps the LLM reach its final decision. Now there has been a plethora of papers from both the spectrums where they argue whether LLMs can reason or not. I don't want to get into that debate today, but what I'll be talking about is whether these reasonings are reliable. So the first property is faithfulness. Uh, faithfulness essentially ensures that an explanation aligns with the internal behavior of the model. So you can ask me why is faithfulness important? So let us consider this example where we have a LLM agent trained on the historical medical records and it can predict whether a patient is epileptic. When asked about an explanation, the LLM uh, correctly says that the white blood cell count of the patient was high. But using simple faithfulness tests, we found out that at indeed uh, features like number of days since the last visit and the day of the appointment were important features that changed the prediction of the LLM agent. So these are clearly non-medical factors and relying on them could lead to misguided diagnosis. So in, the, in our first work, what we did is we used three widely known techniques of in-context learning, fine-tuning, and activation editing to explore whether we can use these methods to steer the LLMs to elicit more faithful chain of thought reasonings. In our first, pair, in our first thing, what we did is we created a subset of faithful chain of thought reasoning, and we used them in in-context and fine-tuning settings and we observed that it led to no significant improvements in faithfulness. In the second part, what we did is we tied some activation editing techniques to identify activation heads inside the LLM that were more correlated to faithful uh, COT reasonings. And then during the inference, we just used those activation heads to infer the model and in the, in the hope to elicit more COT reasonings. And what we found out is that it also didn't lead to any increase in faithfulness. So in summary, what we showed in this work is none of the existing techniques can actually improve the faithfulness of COT in a purely data-driven approach. In our second work, what we try to do is try to quantify the uncertainty of COT reasoning using uh, metrics like verbalized and probing uncertainty. While verbalized uncertainty essentially asks the LLM to elicit its confidence in its reasoning, uh, probing uncertainty ensured to use sample perturbations as a proxy to evaluate pro the uncertainty metric. What we found out, and I think it's a surprise, that if you ask the LLM, it always says that I'm 100% confident about my reasoning and that we got for all different five reasoning data sets. If we go to the probing uncertainty metric, what we found interestingly is that the uncertainty of the model was way high for common sense reasoning tasks like strategy queue and sports understanding, and they were very high for logical reasoning tasks like the math data sets we have. In our final exploration, we tried to elicit the hallucination properties of COT reasoning, and we tried to do this for large vision language models. Essentially, we came up with some hallucination attacks where we tried to ask the model some adversarial questions Given an image like this, we ask the model to interpret the dining table, and with very high confidence, the model comes up with its own story, justifying its response that there is a dining table present in the image, where we clearly see in the visual context that there is no dining table. So these kind of hallucinations also can misguide a user to trust these models' reasoning, but indeed, they just hallucinate these reasonings. Thank you for your time, and yeah. I'm happy to chat about this offline. Thank you.